because of the introduction of television into the home. That's one methodology, before and after, of which time budgets is a good example. Another example of methodology would be the kind of method that Elizabeth Eisenstein used. What she did is she said, okay, here's the printing press. And let me look to see what other institutions changed radically during that period. This is a historian's approach. So she said the church is one. Science is another. What did, what did the printing press do to science to make astronomy boom in, uh, in the centuries immediately after and so on? So that's the second methodology. A third, and you already just implied this, is the possibility that short-run methods could be adapted to study long-run. I'll give you an example from, you probably know, Gertner and Gross. What they did is they studied life on television. How many policemen? What's the ratio of policemen to the population? What's the ratio of robbers? Uh, uh, to the uh, and so on, on television, in the action genres, let's say. Then they compared the world view or the view of society of light viewers and of heavy viewers. How many policemen are there in this society? What's the ratio of them? And then they asked the light viewers and the heavy viewers, and the heavy viewers gave a more television answer to their image of society than the light view. So here is short run method survey, content analysis, applied to a long run problem by assuming or inferring that long run viewers would act like long run effects more than, no, I'm sorry, that heavy viewers would act more like people who have been subject to long run effects than light viewers for the simple reason that life viewers weren't locked into their homes. They also went outside into the street. So, three answers. I may have a short comment here. Another question is how you define long run, 20 years or 200 years? Yeah. For the Soviet, 200 years is almost up. For us, 20 years is enormous. For us, yes, exactly. New question. 